Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hey everybody and thank you for coming back to the channel. I hope each and every one of you had a very blessed and nice Tuesday work day or if you're retired. I hope you did something fun and relaxing and uh, inviting to have a happy spirit about yourself. So I'm glad y'all did well. It kind of was hot up here in Atlanta. Then it started to rain. Ooh, we were just having mixed, mixed weather here and there, child. I'm like, oh, 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 but it is what it is, and we're going to make it do what we're going to make it do. But, you know, I had to go be nosy. I had to go be nosy, child, and see what my Portia called herself doing over there. Now, I'm like, <sighs> it's trending, y'all. It's trending, and she put it out on her own social media platform because I was like, why is Portia's Okay, she looks like a baby doll. You know, she's a very beautiful woman. Um, even though she wears a lot of makeup. But child, when I came across that on her social media platform page, I was like, why is she pumping up her lips? And it seemed like she may have done something to her eyebrows. Because they seem a little swollen too. But I'm not sure. Maybe her cheeks. Yes, we got to get in the shits field. Because I don't know what the hell Portia doing to herself. Trying to call herself getting ready for her wedding. I'm like, Portia, Portia. What is Simon doing for the wedding? Is he losing his belly? Is he stopped smoking? What is he doing to show up and show out? Because girl, you see that belly of his? And them breast titties. Uh-uh. No, no. He need to be doing something for you, too. Why are you sitting up here trying to be like Miss Princess, Miss Queen, Miss Flawless? Okay? And you still in shit's field. Girl, why are you letting them folks put that poison in your lips and your cheeks? If that's what I'm looking at. I don't understand. I know beauty is supposed to hurt, but not self-infliction, baby. Not self-infliction. And those eyebrows are not too on point either. But they on point when you have on all that makeup. So I'm like, if you can't get your eyebrows together, why must you think you need to get them cheeks and them lips together? The black folks ain't never had no problem with pump juicy lips. And Portia, uh, you're black since the last time I saw you. Why do you feel that you need to have pump the lips? I mean, that's something the white folks do because theirs are kind of dainty and, you know, they don't have a lot of meat on their lips. They're kind of thin and, you know, kind of sort of not there or whatnot. And they weren't blessed with that. But our race was blessed with having juicy lips. So I'm like, girl, why are you doing all this bullshit to yourself for one day for a couple of hours uh, you becoming Mrs. Gabadia, how you want to call it, all right? And I wish you would go on and get married, cause, honey, all this shacking up you're doing is disgraceful. But anyway, that's another video, another story we can tell. But why are you going and letting these doctors pump you up with just pure poison? Because that's all Botox is. It's not good for you. But y'all buy into all this aesthetic type things and let them put all this poison in your body to have you looking like boo the clown. I said, you keep putting up this shit. You keep going to having them reconstructive here and there. And you're going to be just like Priscilla Presley. Did you see Elvis' wife? Did you see her lately, honey? Or what's that lady's name? She was a part of a, a modeling agency. She looked like Frankenstein. And a lot of people, 880 people gave you the hearts like you doing, doing, uh, I don't know, girl. Because it seems like you got your nose done or maybe a, a good contouring type thing. But I'm like, Portia, you always already had full lips. 
what are you doing and that makeup tone is not really your tone but okay you want to be a little lighter okay don't do it to make it do can you look at orange look at two orange right there but i'm like you did doing all of this make me over for a wedding date a wedding day that's only gonna last so many hours and you're going through all this pain for what just to be showcased as an, another princess or a queen like you did with cordell same shit different day an older man but i'm like girl i'm just i can't take it y'all tell me what do y'all think about it and you know it ain't none of our business what she do how she get down but you know when she put it out on social media then we got to talk about it because it seems like her, her cheeks she might have did something to her eyes because i really don't see why she closing her eyes unless she got the, the botox up in the middle of her forehead to stop the wrinkles from doing it because i didn't read nothing in the uh, you know um what do you call it her chat section because i guess people were asking her questions but i was just like dumbfounded and it kind of like her hands are swollen too girl did you do something to your hands I don't know what Portia doing around now. I just don't know what she doing. Child, Miss E. Miss E, girl. And did you tell your daughter you had a new name? And that she had to call you that new name? Girl, if you make that girl call you E, so. You gotta be with the crack of your ass. Because she know you as Portia. Okay? She, she really know you as Mommy. But i guess that's your thing that simon wants to call you and just be messing up poor baby girl because she gonna be looking for people calling her portia then you got this new name she got to like oh that's what they call my mama now i don't like it i'm gonna call her mama i'm gonna call her mama portia <laughs> i can see poor pj just being defiant like you just coming in just turning her life upside down and she like i ain't for the shits i ain't for the shits uh, uh she's gonna be mommy to me and that's it i'm not calling her no miss e because i don't want to mispronounce the name but it's like eso ecoso or something like that child y'all break it down for me okay i'm a little challenged so please don't want to mess up somebody's cultural name because i wouldn't want to make nobody mess up my name because that's all we got is our name and our character huh that's what i say but y'all tell me now what is still what did Miss Porsche had done to uh because I what I'm looking at is everything swollen around her cheeks, everything is swollen around her mouth, and she's like I'm like, did she get something done to her eyes? Like in her uh eyebrow part or the middle of her face for the wrinkles? I'm like, Y'all gotta stop following these white folks and they, they kind of make up lessons and stuff. And they need to stop trying to follow us when they want them big booties and stuff. Because when you get all of that that you're naturally born with, that shit get exhausting at the time. Especially when you're born with a big breast, voluptuous breast. That shit hurts your back. Okay? It hurts your back. It messes with your walking. It wears your shoulders down. Child, and y'all be getting up there going trying to be have a little frame and everything. Y'all be trying to get them uh boobies like Dolly Parton, knowing they hurting. But just so I guess y'all can flaunt and just be out there for eye candy for men. And they ain't bit more standing. They might like it here and there. And they might like it for a little while. And then they'll probably want you to decrease them. Because they getting on their nerves. And then y'all be silly and go out there and try to decrease them. Putting your health at risk. See your man not supposed to put your health at risk. He's supposed to love you for who you are. Not who they want to make you into. Now I ain't saying Simon trying to tell her go do all this stuff. I think that's just Portia. She just likes to look what she feels is picture perfect. What's accepting and pleasing to society. Because she has no self-confidence in herself. Because if she did have that, she wouldn't be doing all this uh, stuff. This shit is stuff. She don't know her worth at this point. And I, at 40, going on 41 years old, I don't think she's ever going to know her worth. 
Because beauty is in the is, is in the eye of the beholder. Not something you just go tamper with every so many months. Because you don't like how this look. Or you don't like how this uh, uh, picture you in a picture or photograph. You're too critical on your own self, Portia. You're beautiful and you don't even know it. If we can just work on that inside of you and portray it outward. Then we'll be doing some darn thing. But you're going to forever be that girl who's always going to look for that trending uh, new thing to try to enhance your beauty. And it's not even worth it. And I hope it don't drip down to your daughter because she's beautiful as is. But you, you will probably find something wrong with her and try to encourage her to get some work done. And it probably be in a teenage status is what you'll be. You'll be like Kim Zosiac. How she be having her kids over there. <coughs> looking like poster childs of, you know, uh, the way you should look. The way men want you to look. That's a crazy ass shit. But I thought I would bring that to y'all. Because I'm like, Portia trying to do all this stuff for her wedding. Getting her aesthetics looking pleasing enough to be seen. Who you trying to impress, honey? Simon? Because I don't think Simon care. He just want to be on TV. He don't really care. Because he knows you're beautiful anyway. But you're doing that for yourself. And that's sad. That's sad. I mean, your mom should sit and have a talk with you. Stop putting putting all this poison in your body and then long time down the road you get sick and you try to figure out what you did wrong what could have happened could have been on that botox you was putting up in your face and your body and your bloodstream boo but that's how it is that's what it is with Portia. she's getting ready for her wedding and uh she's doing all of this make me over type of beautification for that one day that's going to be just one day, a few hours, and she's going to be done wasting a whole lot of money. Because uh, once everything is done and said, pictures are taken, the crowd has gone home, she has to take out all that silly makeup and, you know, be in a, a, a what do you call it, a mummified type facial expression. Because she probably ain't going to be able to feel her face, you know what I'm saying? Because I heard once you get numb like that, it takes a while for that numbness to go away. So, I'm like, maybe that's why she's trying to do it. Uh, so, she'll be ready in the next couple of months. Maybe she's thinking about having a summer wedding or something to that degree. Because she already done put out some more Instagram pictures that I got to make a, a story about. And bring it on him because I guess she done picked her bridesmaids and bride, uh, we call it maid of honor and stuff. But we'll see, we'll see, we'll see how it goes down. But that was the conversation I wanted to have with you guys. So get down in those comments, y'all. Let me know what work has she had done because she just, I don't know, she just look real swollen like a little duck, like she got a duck beak. And all of that for one day. And like she was dipping snuff right there. Y'all ever had that aunt or that grandpa or that grandma that used to dip snuff? <laughs> and he'd be sitting there in the middle part like that. I'm like, girl. Now, what if what if you just stayed that way? This procedure just went wrong and you just have to look like that the rest of your life. Look at Priscilla Presley. A horror show. But she didn't know when enough was enough to stop messing with your face with all of that poison they're putting into you. For it to last, what, six months, a year? And then you have to go back and get it done again because all of it's sagging or whatever. I don't know what the hell you're doing, Portia. But it's too much. It's too much. But I'll see y'all next video. And y'all get down those comments and dialogue with each other on the comments and goings. And have a nice conversation about it, okay? And you know I'll be down there with you all, okay? I don't have too much to say except when somebody say something real crazy that made me laugh and kiki. Woo! Then I have to send a response back to that particular person. <laughs> but we like kindred spirits. We all kind of mesh together. We have the same type of uh, feel for how out. For how a certain outlook should uh, become. And this, that, and the third. We ain't too off from each other. And that's why we are family of him. We grooving. And we learn to respect each other. Even if they don't agree with what we said. We get down there and we be very polite. And I like it. I like it, honey. 
and oh and i'll just see y'all next video okay y'all be uh blessed y'all be cool and we're gonna have a conversation about something else okay and don't forget to go over to the other channel now all right that's all i'm gonna say about it bye bye